I'm researching the way teachers manage misbehaviour in classrooms and I am looking at the effect of different techniques on a range of outcomes. Some of those are the child's attention to learning, um, the child's responsible behaviour, the child's sense of responsibility, uh, as, is just, as is being obedient is one thing, but being responsible is a secondary thing. Um, their attitudes, their, their learning, their attitudes, their teachers. Recently, having sort of identified techniques which work, I have been working with about 250 schools in the northern region and another 20 in the western region to help teachers implement those techniques in their classrooms and look at the effects of those. Uh, most recently, I've been able to find ways to help teachers embed that change in their practice and that's probably the most difficult of what I've been doing to tell you the truth because it's one thing to say give up yelling at people and using sarcasm um, but it's another thing to not regress backwards uh, at some stage. Well ideally I would like to think it's possible to get students to become responsible people. My most recent research shows that from 4,000 kids, um, approximately 30% say they'll act worse or much worse if you take away punishments. Another 10% say also if you take away rewards. And so that by the time you take away punishments, rewards, and let's say reports to parents, the majority of children are saying, I'll act worse. They're, they're controlled by external constraints. So my ideal outcome would be the children become responsible, not just for their own behaviour, but for the behaviour of the children around them. And that's based on protection of rights kinds of arguments. So you're moving teachers from what you might call, I'm the boss, do what you're told kind of stuff, to do what's reasonable. You know, people have a right to learn, it's a school. People have a right to be safe, it's Australia. So just do the reasonable thing. And not only do the reasonable thing, encourage others to do the reasonable thing. Well, it could be enormous technically because uh, if you think about it, if children, m many adults are not responsible, they are not prepared to step up. So if children could learn in school that there are rights that deserve protection and not only that they should act in accord with those rights, but they should encourage others to do the right thing, um, I would say society would change enormously I mean, it may be romantic, but it's, it's worth a try. And um, in the minimum, the teachers will be less stressed because children will behave more reasonably, as I've got evidence already. Um, so in that sense, there's a payoff for teachers, and that's a financial payoff because sometimes, I think it's something like 40% of teachers can leave teaching in the first five years simply because of the behaviour issues they have to deal with. So it would be a saving to the community. So in a sense, it's, it's got a multiple outcomes of, of real worth.